Hi guys, welcome back to the channel. So, okay guys, so today we have a different kind of video, guys. I just got a, a, a package from West Sound Candle Company, that's Jeff Stanley's company, guys. And hopefully this will be uh, the weeks that I'm waiting for. Uh, so let me just open box number one. Let me just bring you guys down so you can see. I'm so excited because I'm being uh, stuck with, with being able to make candles because I, I ran out of wigs, okay? So let me just bring you guys down more so you can see. I have two boxes. So let's see what this is, okay? Okay, so these are the L LCS 75. Okay, look how many. Okay. And I have okay, uh, LCS 75 and five bags because I have a 500 each. And then I got LCS 85 and I have five bags of these two. So these are both uh, LCS 75 and LCS 85. You see guys, when you find something that you know you're gonna be using, I just buy large amounts because you don't know whether or not they're gonna go out of stock. So I got the 100. I have 40 here. 40 and this is 90 and five. Okay, perfect. Yeah, I didn't order, uh, found, I only ordered 100 of these. 100 of 90 and 100 of uh, 40 just to have, you know? Okay, so I'm very happy. So I got the ones that I need. So let me just take out one bag of LCL 80 because these are the ones that I'm going to be using today. And also guys, I'm going to be making small samples uh, to give my neighbors so they can tell me uh, how they feel about money formulas. Okay. I figure let me just give it to my neighbor to, my neighbor to, to give me their, uh, their, honest opinion, their honest opinion, you know, and just whether or not I want to tweak them further, you know. I think they're perfect. My husband loves them and I love them too. So uh, thank you, Jay, for being so prompt. Uh, and sending me these orders, I, I, I really appreciate it, okay? So let me just put this aside to do. Okay, so remember I made a, a candle of marijuana with uh, gardenia? So this is it. Uh, I have to be very careful because they are very strong, the two of them. So I'm gonna make a small sample of this. I'm gonna have to add something else. It's, it's very potent. So I don't, I'm not sure about this one, so I'm gonna have to play, play very uh, carefully with that one. And the other one that I, that I did was uh, the one with uh, celebrate blank, remember? Smoked vanilla and white tea. Okay, this one is gonna be amazing. I can tell you right off the back. Yeah. So I'm gonna make these two samples today. And the rest. So guys, I'm gonna show you, let's pretend that I'm I like this candle, and but I'm not sure about the uh, about the wick size, and I want to remelt it, and wanna, and I want to use let's say a wooden wick or something else. Okay, so the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna okay, and I'm just gonna put it on the, on the side of the table because I want to remember what this is. Okay, otherwise they're gonna get lost. I take the candle and I put it upside down. The same thing with this candle. I take the label now. This label is for this one in here, so I'm gonna put it right here in, in back of the, and then I put it upside down. Okay, so let me show you. Okay, so I put the label on the back like this, so I know which one is which, okay? So I'm working on it, but I know which one belongs to what, okay? Then, the question is, are you going to want to remelt this and add more additional oil? Or do you want to leave them the same and all you want to do is just uh, put a new wick in the vessel? That's up to you. So according to that, if you want to reuse the wax, if you're going to reuse the wax, let's say this candle, you're going to reuse it. So just take the wax, uh, just take the, the candle guys and then just put it inside this pan. Make sure that it's wide. You see that it's the, the circumference that you have access to bring uh, to pick it up. So this one, I just want to get rid of the wax because I don't like uh, I don't like the the formula. So let me show you. Uh, what I will do is I will take the wax from this in here after it melted. Let me show you. Heat it up. 
but don't heat it up too hot, okay? All you want to do is you want to release it from the side. Perfect, let me just get a spatula. So get a spatula, guys, like this. Silicone spatula. And with a towel. Anyway, what I'm, what I'm gonna show you is, once you take the spatula and you put it on the side, try to, to turn it around. If the wax moves, then you are okay to go. You don't need to heat it up anymore, okay? You want to release it from the sides and try, you see how it's pushing out? It's pushing out and there you go. And then you have the wick in there, okay? And there you have it. So then all you need to do guys is just, all you need to do guys is just uh, wash this with soap and water, dry it very well, put a new wick in there, a new wick that you think may work better, and then uh, remelt the wax. You don't need to remelt it to 185, just melt it until it's uh, liquefied, guys, and then just pour it back in the candle, and, and that's it, okay? So just see how you see this? This I'm not gonna be using, so I'm gonna throw it away. So then this one, guys, the same thing too, but just melt it in, in aluminum foil. Then this one, if you want to do this one, you know, this side, all you're looking for is to release it, to release it from the, from the jar, that's all. Be careful because it could be too hot, so you need a towel. So again, so I'm gonna take this. You see, it's not melted, but just stick it in there. If the, if the candle turns like it's doing right now, you're good to go. So then you go to the trash and then you just dump it over. So I'm just gonna dump it over in here. Let me show you. Keep turning, keep turning, keep turning. You see? You see how easy? Look how clean. This is perfect. And then you just take this piece of wax in here. Wrap it around, clean the spatula, take this, put it in here, and just goes into the trash, you see? And there's nothing to wash. The only thing you need to wash now is the vessel again, lots of soap and water, and, and you're ready to make a new candle, okay? So let me just, let me just uh, rinse everything, guys, and I'll bring her back. Yes! Okay, guys, we're back. So, let's see, let me just bring you over. Okay, one other thing that I wanted to show you guys, uh, this is made of glass, but it's, uh, it's painted inside. So you have to be careful whenever you are removing, whenever you're putting something inside these this vessels, guys, that you have to be uh, mindful that this has paint inside and that the paint is very delicate and the paint is gonna scratch if you're not careful. And so I wanna show you what happens when you're not careful and the paint scratches, okay? So let me see this one. I look at it against the light. So this one looks perfect. You see there's no uh, scratches in there. The next one, it's a different story. Let me just dry it really well. And this is gonna happen guys with all the vessels that you buy because uh, once the glass comes transparent and of course, wh whichever finish the manufacturer wants, it's all painted inside. Uh, it's better to get them painted inside than painted outside, uh, being that that way, you know, people, not, not many people has their hands inside, so they cannot get a scratch as easy only on during the manufacturing process. Outside, then it looks beautiful, nice and polished because there's no paint outside, so it looks like naturally, look how beautiful that looks. These vessels, it's so luxurious looking, guys. Okay, so let me just put my glasses on so I, I can see where is the scratch in here? And I can see it right over here. Can you see it right there? Look. You see it right there, you see? The scratch in there. Okay, so let me show you how to fix this, okay? Let me just get a marker, hold on. The solid burr is gonna go into the wax, okay? So it needs to be permanent. And just take whatever the scratch is. You see the scratch in there? Just cover it. Okay, this marker is dry. So he's not doing his job. So you know anything like that that you can paint this because what you don't want is you want you don't want to see the white wax showing through the glass. Anyway, you get the idea, okay? So just take the marker and just paint it inside, and that. So I just I just want I just want to give you guys a heads up, okay? So that's something that could happen in these kind of vessels because the color is painted from the inside out. So you have to be very careful, okay? So I'm not gonna be using this today. So I'm gonna put this back. I'm gonna be using different tin cans this time. I'm gonna be using different kinds of uh, vessels, guys, for these samples because I noticed, 
I noticed that I was using this, the other samples that I was using, and I just decided not to use this anymore, guys, because it's kind of dangerous. Uh, it's, it's, it's too, too small, and it's good. It could burn the surface if I'm going to be giving, giving this to uh, neighbors and you know I cannot pretend that they're going to be watching them 24 7 so I just want to tell them be very careful of this do not burn them more than two hours and just let me know what the results are this one within the hour it starts it melts all the way through so I have to be very careful that's why I'm not making this to give away anyone this I would make if I were to use for myself but not to give away I mean I want to be safe with everyone. So these are the ones, guys. These are four ounce metal candle tins, okay? I got this from Amazon. And this is the one it looks like. Okay, they are two and a quarter inch uh, wide diameter. So I'm gonna be making almost one and a half. As you can see. So I need to find So if I have a two and a half, a two and a half inches diameter vessel, I'm going to need LCS 16. Okay, LCS 16. So I'm gonna get, let me just, what are the LCS? Okay, I have them in here. So here they are. And I'm gonna need in one week, because what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna uh, cut them. I'm gonna cut them in pieces. I'm gonna attach them with this. That's the best way you save money. Let me just get a pair of pliers. So just looking at this by eye, so this in here, so I can see that about this, so this will give me enough, so you can see. Okay, so I'm gonna make one. Okay, one is done. So I guess I'm gonna do half of this one. Okay, so this is gonna be the, the next one here. And what I like about these wigs, guys, is that they're very rigid, so you don't have to put any 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 kind of guard or anything. They stay up like that by themselves. Once you place them, I mean, we'll see. I'm saying that, but we'll see together, okay? This may not work, but I'll do my best. So hopefully with two wigs, I'll get to make six candles, six samples, okay? So this one, again, LCS60. Put it in here so you can see it later, okay? So let me put in here LCS 60. Okay, so now I'm gonna look at the formulations. No, first, let me just uh, glue them in. That's the reason why also I stopped making the other small tin cans uh, because this was getting released, the, the wig tab, and it was floating to the side. So that's why I decided, you know what? This is too dangerous. I don't wanna play with fate. To me, safety is number one. So I'm not making samples for that, that size anymore. And also people were asking me, can uh, are those travel candles? And I said, absolutely not. To be honest with you guys, I don't think I will take a candle as a travel candle. You know, it's, I don't know. It's, it's like, for example, it's different because my husband and I, we don't drink, but God forbid you go out partying and drinking and you, and you light up the candle, you know, and then you just, just fall asleep. God forbid, what kind of environment you have, you know, maybe um, a lot of flammable materials, curtains, drapes, or whatever, and like, if you, leave, if you go to an old uh, place, you know, you don't know, guys. So don't tempt fate with that. Just, you know, leave the candles for home, and it's safe, than to take it to a, a, a place that is, you don't know. You know, God knows. Maybe you, you have, your home insurance will, will not cover for that kind of, uh, you know, it, it's just like, I'd rather prevent, you know, I know it's nice to take a piece of you with you, you know, when you go on vacation, you know, uh, but you know, just take a picture from your pet. Put it next to your bed, that's all you need to do. Don't take a, set, a, a candle, you know. Take a perfume that you like to use at home and use that instead, you know? You just spray the, the room with that. But don't take a candle. I mean, whatever you do, please don't take a candle. That's my a wise advice to you guys. You know, I know you guys, when you're hot, when you're young, you think you're invincible, and oh, that's not gonna happen to me. Uh, believe me, it could happen to you. So guys, I know I haven't done a video like this before in, in, a, in a while. I'm concentrating on my candles. Uh, right now, I'm just waiting for them to cure, so I'm, you know, and that's why I'm making new testers. So as the other ones cure and I start production, 
I start uh, testing this one, whether this one or not are gonna be a go, and then I, pro I start producing this. So that's why my channel, my channel is going through different changes now. You know, at the same time, I'm waiting for the, uh, the trademark to get approved. So I can start working on my labels. I don't wanna start working labels if I don't know exactly what kind of language I can put in there or not. Because to me, it will be like uh, a waste of time. Okay, so now I need to label this. Guys, and I wanna be honest with you, the reason why I'm so uh, adamant about safety is because back in 1985, uh, when I was living in New York, uh, my home in Puerto Rico burned down with my father inside. So that's something that's very traumatic for me, you know, to think about fires, you know? That's why I was thinking about, uh, I was hesitant at the beginning when I started making candles because of that, you know, fear. But you know, it's it's just that I, I cannot stress enough how important for me safety is. That's why I want to relate this to you because uh, I went through that experience when I was younger and it's not fun, okay? Especially when a family member uh, suffer through that. Okay, so let me just get the formulas. Okay, this one, yes. This one, an amazing yes. Absolutely. Okay, so those are gonna be the three. I need to make another one. I just came up with a, a great idea to do a candle and I'm just gonna do it. And that's how, that's how the, big, the best thing happens when they happen by accident. And, and I think there's gonna be an accident in here that I made, but I don't, Remember now, uh, which company oil this is? I think I have the, I have the feeling that I know which which company is, but I need to find the oil. Some of the formulas, guys, uh, like one of them from the Woody Week company, uh, is not meant to be mixed. Is the dark rose and lavender, lavender, that it is so beautiful by itself that it will be a sin if you mix it with something else. So I don't recommend you mixing that one because it's too beautiful and you're gonna ruin it. So that's an advice for you guys. Okay, so now I'm gonna make four candles each, meaning it's gonna be eight because I wanna have, a, I'm gonna give one to a neighbor and then to, the same one to another neighbor to see how they, they uh, what they think about it, you know, what's the difference. And that's the good thing about it when you have more than one person that can give you different opinions and you, so you take a little bit from one and a little bit from the other one. That's why in New York, when I used to work at a magazine, guys, they used to have a, what we call them uh, focus groups. And uh, when you show them, let's say you were gonna come up with a new page, with a new section, you know, let's say about look for less or uh, who got it right. So you show them different versions of the page, different styles, and you have them vote. The which one you like the best, which one makes more impact for you, and can you explain why? The same thing with candles. You need the input from other people. People have different smells. Okay guys, so I have all the formulations in here written. And I'm just gonna name them one to four. I'm not gonna uh, give the uh, the different components. So because I don't want the bad ingredients, you know, I think it's better for you to just surprise them. It's better that way because it's more like mysterious for them, you know, oh my God, what is this, what is this? And they're like, it's smelling more, so it makes them more, it's made them, it makes them think more. You know, so when you give them something that they don't know, then just start like, the mind start working, you know, and that's, that's what you want. You know, you want them to think, to give you like, what is it that they like about this, this scent? You know, it's, that's the best way to do it. I'm using the same oils for a couple of uh, the candles. Let's see if they can uh, distinguish which ones I'm using twice. But it's just, that's the name of the game. You know, it's for you to try to guess what's inside every formulation. For every candle, for every tester, I'm gonna need 2.49 ounces of wax. And I'm going to need 0.25 ounces of fragrance oil, okay? So now, if I have three different uh, oils, I'm not, I, need, I need to divide 7.1. Perfect, so, so let me just start making the oils now. Okay guys, so I just finished pouring the oils. Now I'm gonna take them outside and then I'm gonna take you outside so we can start. Okay guys, let's start cooking. Start prepping this and I'm gonna be using the small container guys in here. Okay, so as you can see, let me just bring it down so you can, let me just move the chair over without me having to punch low. Okay, so these are the, the candles guys. 
So this is uh, the oils in the bag, okay? and then I'm gonna be using a small container. Actually, those four in there, I'm gonna be using them. So guys, you know, the reason why I get them more is because I don't want them to be too cold because I'm not gonna be using that much wax. So by the time I transfer the wax to here, it's gonna get too cold. So I need to get them warm. So that way it could give them like a chance for them to, um, to mellow with the, with the fragrance oils. Okay, so they are not really hot, hot, hot. They are like a room temperature, that's good. Okay, and let's see the temperature. Let me get the thermometer right over here. And I'm going to need for different fragrance oils, remember, you don't want to contaminate. So I have for different, fabulous, okay. The temperature is 202, I want it to go to 20 at least. Because I know by the time I add to the oils, it's gonna be too cold, okay? So that's why I'm, this wax, it's all the timing, guys. All I need for every container, it's 2.49, let's say 2.5 uh, ounces of wax. So it's not that much. So this is why I'm happy because I don't have to waste that much wax, you know? And like I told you, look, they stay really rigid on top. Okay, so let's see how much is, how high the temperature is. Okay, 211, I'm gonna wait a few more seconds. I want it to go higher, I want it to go to 20. And again, you don't need to mix this too, too much because it's very small amount. Per candle, look how tiny it is. Yeah, okay, so these are all the oils. Okay, so let's see. Okay, I'm gonna mix five ounces of wax in here. I'm gonna make sure the oil, I'll, I'll show you. Okay, so let's see, 2.19, let's, let's turn it on, tear. Okay, I'm gonna measure five ounces, 5.3, that's too much. I'm gonna leave the 5.2, they have with it. Okay, so this, the temperature is 215. I'm gonna add the two oils. Instead of wasting my time making two candles, why not make just one and just divide it in two? You see? That way you save time. Perfect. Okay, now candle number two. I'll leave this in there, I'll clean it up later. Okay, let's take the temperature. Okay, time to turn it very low. Okay, again, tear. I'm gonna do the same with this one, five ounces. 5.1, good enough for me. Now this is gonna be candle number two. So put both oils. Now I mix, mix, mix. Oh my God, it smells amazing, guys. You see, so I'm making both two candles in one. If you're making the same thing for twice, why, why make it twice, you know? Okay, time to pour. A little bit in one, a little bit in the other one. So you have equal amounts. Okay guys, I'm done. So let me just close it up and bring it back. Yes! And like I told you guys, this, this wax, it needs need to be poured very hot. So I pour around uh, 196, 197. Okay, so let me see if this one can stay to the center. This one is fine. Keep it farther apart so because you want them to have room for them to cool down without touching. Okay, this one, number three, needs to be put an adjustment in here so it stays center. Okay, guys, so this is the last pair of the testers that I made today. My new candles that I'm gonna be giving to a, a couple of my neighbors to see. I just wanna get their reaction and their feedback. You know, to whether or not I need to fine tune this or whether they are fine for me to produce. Because, I, And also, I just want to see whether or not I go ahead and make them, you know, into my, into my candle line. Okay, so let me just put this in here. Okay, yes. Okay, guys, so I'm going to leave the video here, guys. It's been a long day for me. And I hope you um, learned something from me, guys. I, I'm pretty sure that the, uh, the person who asked me about showing them how I melt my candles and reuse them again if I want to, uh, learn something from me to see how easy it is for uh, just to um, not recycle your, your vessels, you know, into uh, new candles or you can just, if you want to change the wick, so you can do, uh, do also that too, okay guys? So uh, I'm going to show you this on, on my live stream on Sunday, guys, don't forget. Hi guys, I want to give you one last look. These are the samplers that I made, candle samples that I'm going to give away to my neighbors. and. I made two of each, so uh, two of one, two of two, two of three, and two of four. I just want to show you how beautiful they look. And the uh, the city they're giving me, uh, it's heavenly. So I'm pretty sure these formulations are going to be a hit. So hopefully uh, I'll have good feedback from my neighbors and let's see how everything goes. Uh, again, I'm going to have to wait like a few days before I give them to them. So I'm going to uh, show them to you again on Sunday. 
this is coming up Sunday at 12 noon Pacific Standard Time. So I just wanted to show you the beautiful testers in here. So I'm looking forward to seeing you Sunday, guys. So don't forget, I'll see you. Mm -hmm.